Yo, what's up guys, Drew here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how I make these shockwaves. Um, they're pretty easy, but I said I made them in my last tutorial, and I wanted to give you guys a tutorial on how to do them, so you can follow the other tutorial more accurately. But Merry Christmas to you all, and I hope you guys are having a good Christmas so far. Wait, but before we start, make sure you guys join the Discord. If you have questions, there's resources, and you'll get notified when I post and stuff, and there's more people learning like you. And also like and subscribe if this is helpful. And please comment what you want to see next, because I don't know what tutorials to make, so let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have it on this Fortnite clip in my recent edit. That was like a joke edit, but um, you can see it kind of does a little warp and it comes out and it's really simple to make um, and all this is is just an overlay and displacement map so first thing you need is an overlay uh, a shockwave overlay and I will get you guys um, the shockwave overlay in the description so shockwave can be any shockwave overlay I'll give you guys the one I'm using in this tutorial, but when you have your shockwave, um, all you're going to want to do is, I would time remap it to similar to your clip, so as you can see my clip is time remapped, so I would want to time remap the shockwave by going to control alt T, which is time remap, and then making this to where I want it. I usually keep it to where there's still like fog on it and not just like completely gone but I would do it like here is fine um, and then you're gonna wanna well first you're gonna wanna frame interp and then highlight these and then just add a little graph and boom it's time you mapped now you're gonna wanna press T for your opacity turn it down so you can see where you want to place the shockwave so he kills about right there honestly that's like perfect so you can scale it up if you would like and just kind of make it centered to where your impact is and then once you have it like that you can turn the opacity back to 100 and then you can hide this layer and then you can pre-comp it so control shift c name it shockwave once you have that um uh, your clip is hidden so so now you just add an adjustment layer to your clip and make sure you have motion tile in your clip so it will like not be a bunch of tiles if that makes sense um and then add displacement map to this i find the built-in displacement map to be like the best for this so um, yeah, and I usually start by putting it at like 25 and 15. I think that's like decent. And then as you can see, it doesn't do anything until you put the layer on Shockwave. So click Shockwave. And boom, there you go. That's pretty much it. Now, if you want it to be like deeper than this or show up more than this, then just change these values. So this could be 25. And there you go. Now if you want to make the radius bigger or like change anything about how it looks, you just go into your shockwave comp and then you change it in here. So you can scale this up and then as you can see, it's scaled up in the clip. Now if it's like um, kind of you see these borders, like if it looks like that too, make sure you add motion tile to your shockwave too. I forgot to say this, but add motion tile there there we go and then you're pretty much good and to get rid of like all of this stuff um you can just honestly just zoom in if you really want to so just put an adjustment layer transform scale in and position and there you go there's your shockwave and that's pretty much it I do that for all my shockwaves you can even change the graph if it's too fast I feel like it's a little too fast so I'll change it 
and there we go that's it that's how you do shockwaves really simple um they look cool can do pretty much whatever you want with these uh yeah and if you guys enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and tell me what you guys want to see next but till next time peace Just